All right, now we are on to the top view. So if we take a look, our top view is 32 right there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take this line right here and offset it, O for offset, and it needs to be 32. And I'm gonna click on it and then I can choose which side. I'm gonna go up 32. So we're done with our guidelines. We know what this thing's gonna look like. We could trim these off or not. And then use a TR trim. And then I'm going to change to my uh, object layer. So my layer is zero. If I take a look at, I'm, I'm gonna need this back line and I know it goes, if I'm starting a line in L space and I'm starting a line from there to there, I'm just drawing over the top of that, no big deal. And then I gotta go down 16. So I've still got a shortcut on F8 for ortho. So my lines only go certain directions, okay? So F8 and I need to go down 16. And then if we take a look on this, is it's even with this edge. So I've got two edges that were brought up. So I gotta draw it over and that is gonna be 12 over. So I'm gonna go over this way, 12. And then it's going to connect with this front face. That I don't even have to draw in the angle. I don't know what it is. I just know that it connects right here because that's the front of the object and that's that edge right there. So I can click right there. And that O snap, remember our O snap, uh, object snap, is the one that made that work that I clicked on the end point. With. Okay. So now I'm going to click line again. And I'm going to draw into my other front edge right here. So now we've got these edges. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my guidelines right for now so that we can see this up next part a little better. So we're gonna learn a new tool because these lines are the same. They're just on the other side. So I'm gonna learn a new tool called the mirror tool. And mirror tool, if I type MI, pops up mirror. M is move, so mirror, MI. So I'm gonna mirror, what objects do we want to mirror? We want to mirror these. Notice I used the green box. I could have used the blue box and made sure they were on the inside, but the green box from there selects everything it's touching. Uh, those are the objects I want to mirror. And then we need to know where the center point is. I could click the center point, midpoint of that, or the midpoint of this. And since, well, let's just see what it's gonna do. And this is my axis of rotation. And so if I have ortho on with F8, then I can make sure that it's gonna mirror exactly to the other side like so, okay? Uh, and it says erase objects and default if you push enter is no, okay? So uh, next we want to um, take a look at drawing this little piece right here and we can get the information for it. So I need to offset 14 and 24. So I'm gonna push O for offset and the first one is 14. And I'll just offset it from there, okay? And then I can offset again, um, oops, O again at 24 this time, and I'm going down. So uh, then that those lines are gonna be trimmed because we know that they're even with this edge. So I'm just gonna draw a line up from there, space to end the line, space to start a new line, and then I'm going perpendicular again. And now again, you just use trim, TR, trim to get these edges cleaned up. And I had a couple extras that were hanging out there. And I'm gonna use the delete key this time to delete those. So now our top view is complete. So we've learned about the mirror tool, MI for mirror. Uh, and then we used offset several times, offset. And we used our trim tool, TR, trim. And we used the delete key this time around. So. All right, well, good luck on it, and we'll catch you on the next one.